Sup YouTube, what's going on? I'm back with another MLB The Show 21 video. I know you new guys and uh, all you Xbox players, maybe even you returning players, you're going to love this video. So in years past, I've made uh, two how to get good at hitting uh, videos the past two years of MLB and they've they've had great love on them. They're my highest viewed videos on this entire channel, my highest like ratio, like it's, it's just ridiculous the amount of love that these videos get. Like some of these comments that I get on these videos are just like some of the most genuine and like nice comments I've ever seen in, the, in my history of watching YouTube. Just of how I helped these these people, how I like literally taught them how to hit, they were new to the game, blah blah blah. And uh, yeah, because that's basically what this video is about, man. I'm not I'm not telling you that uh, like I'm not telling you that you need to hit the ball. I'm literally teaching you how to put the bat on the damn ball and hit some home runs. Because for the past few MLBs, I've been like a constant World Series player. I've made World Series like every season that I grind rank season. And I've always hit at like a high level. Like at Hall of Fame, I could hit perfect. At Legend, I could hit fine. Like I've always hit at the high levels and done extremely well. So uh, I'm going to be giving you guys my personal tutorial on how to get better at hitting in this game. And I mean, dude, just look at my team already, bro. The game's been out for a day. I've been grinding. You already know what I've uh, what I'm trying to achieve here, man. The online grind is coming very shortly. Uh, Jackie Robinson, 99, about to be on the team. We got a couple uh, a couple more divisions to go on the Team Affinity grind, but uh, yeah, let's get right into this video, man. And before we start, make sure you drop a like in this video. I think we could probably get 10 likes in this video. If we could do that, that would be absolutely amazing. So uh, make sure you drop a like and also drop a sub, man closing in on 3,000 we're gonna do a face reveal at 3,000 subs so uh yeah make sure you hit that sub button drop an MLB content all year long and uh yeah let's get into the video so the first thing before we even start with anything to, or before we even take the field man we gotta go to settings we gotta make sure your settings are right man so uh difficulty we're just gonna leave that all star but I will turn it up uh later in the video because I need to show you guys something to help hitting view gotta be strike zone gotta be uh it, it's the most like you can see the ball the best with this camera it's easily like the best one for moving the PCI and getting it on the ball so make sure you have strikes on and honestly you can't go wrong with zoom I use this sometimes when I'm slumping in strike zone say I'm like not seeing pitch as well like for that for a couple of days uh, if I'm in, if I'm slumping I'll switch to zoom but I do not recommend playing on zoom all the time once I get my timing back my vision back I switch right back to strike zone so maybe like a couple games on zoom but you got to be on strike zone uh, this you can do whatever you want. I like dynamic because I like to see my players bat flips when I hit ball trail Doesn't matter hitting interface. This is the biggest one I know you new players probably have been told to use zone and if you're on directional you got you got to use zone bro like, I'm telling you after this video you will be loving zone. I can confirm you on that man I know it might seem difficult at first, but you just you just got to use it It's the only way that you're gonna be able to hit the ball in this game input type buttons Obviously this doesn't matter uh pci obviously gonna want to have that on i'm gonna put you guys on the best pci so for the center you want none basic for the inner outer you want none yellow is the color transparency 80 fade out none best uh best pci in the game by far it's like the old school just reticle pci or like the class i don't know what they call it that's the one that i go with all right so we're just gonna hop into a custom practice here uh that's basically the the best way i'm going to show you guys walk you through all these tips that I have to give you not even tips like literally a, a full tutorial on how to hit with zone right here all right so basically I'm just gonna set up the practice JD hitting off the roll this Chapman he's probably one of the hardest pitchers to hit in the game now currently uh, I'm not gonna do like any set pitches any locations because like we could practice that later but I need to just show you guys with the uh, the tips I'm about to show you all right so before we even swing the damn bat right here I gotta tell you guys how to actually hold your left stick and that is holding the PCI uh, just like this I'm showing you in the, on a picture on the screen with the control freak the control freak I have is the inferno you can pick them up off Amazon or controlfreak.com. Uh, please sponsor me control freak thank you very much 90 degree angle thumb right in like the center or off like to the side of the PCI like I have mine or not the PCI the thumbstick like I have mine and uh, what it basically does is restrict your range of motion that you can over flick because I know some of you watch, I'll, I'll show right here. So you guys, you'll see a low, all right, well that was a low pitch. We're waiting for a high pitch. When the high pitch comes in, you'll see a high fastball. You have the thing up here 
and you'll just plummet the PCI straight into the dirt, pop it up. Like, let's let's just pretend that that was a high fastball, right? Can this idiot throw a high fastball so I can demonstrate what I, I know mo most of you probably have, or you like over flick like that. You'll do, you'll just you see the pitch, spaz them out, drop the PCI, flick the PCI too high, all that stuff. So basically with the 90 degree angle, it restricts your motion. So you don't have to make huge flicks and you only make slight movements. And with the control freak, you can get to those more precise areas just because of the way it like gives you a larger angle of movement. All right, so once you have the grip down, the second thing I wanna talk about is actually warming up your finger to hit the ball. I know it sounds stupid, but you just gotta do it. So basically, I got my finger in the 90 degree angle, just go around in circles like this, pre-pitch. You get it set in the 90 degree and absolutely kill the ball. You gotta warm up the finger, man. You gotta warm it up. It's the only way you're gonna be able to flick and have your finger ready to hit any pitch in the zone. All right, so once you got those two things down, now we can talk, start talking about PCI placement. So that ball is just absolutely shattered. Oh my JD. But uh, so we're gonna talk about PCI placement here. And uh, this is probably, I'd say the second biggest besides the thumb thing. Uh, basically where I like to have my PCI is slightly up and in like I'm literally talking like a pixel all right a pixel up and in from the middle so you spin it around you have it in the middle 90 degree angle pixel up and in like this and uh, you can basically just get to any pitch from here I I feel my thumb and this spot and if you have a lefty it'll be like right here so like with a righty it's right here at the 90 degree angle and absolutely shatter that baseball miss it a little bit but that's basically where i like to keep my pci to hit like most some players i have hit an over 500 online last year and uh because most uh most noobs and even like pro pitchers on this game they will try to throw high and inside heat and jam you because most of the time there's people just drop the pci on the baseball see like with the 90 degree angle we kept the pci up we saw the pitch roped it down the line like that all right, and this next thing that I personally do, I know it's gonna sound stupid, but you gotta you gotta tense tense your thumb. Look at the catcher, man. Look at Gary, he's moving. So basically, when you're in that 90 degree angle, you gotta like you gotta tense your thumb up so then you're ready to make the most quick quick reaction of your entire life. Like that I'm, I know it might sound a little weird to you, all this like this moving around, warming up, tensing 90 degrees, but trust me, if you want to be a good hitter on this game. You have to do this. So like after I, I swirl it around, tense it up and in, and I'm literally like flexing, like pretty much like you're flexing your bicep, but flex your thumb. And this will get your thumb literally in like, we'll call it ready position to hit the ball because you're just absolutely tensed. I don't know why I did that with my, uh, <laughs> I tensed my right finger that time. But uh, so your, your thumb's all ready to hit the ball. And so now if you combine all those together, you should have a great hitting experience. And some of you guys might be wondering, dude, how do I know what pitch is coming? How do I even see the pitch? I, I think it's a fastball, but it comes in. It's a slider on my hands, and I just swing and whiff. Well, uh, if you want to get some good pitch recognition, this is probably the greatest practice you can do right here. So what you're going to want to do, go into options, put that thing on legend. All right, apply changes. Do they have sliders in here, or do we got to back out? All right, we're going to back out because we're gonna need to adjust the sliders a little bit. So you're gonna wanna to go to sliders, scroll all the way down to, or is it fastball pitch speed, turn that all the way up, keep the off speeds like that. And that's basically the only thing you wanna do. Let's call this uh, warm up, because this is also a good warm up that I like to do before I play ranked seasons. Warm it up. Don't you guys just love Stadium Creator? Look at this, I, I haven't made my stadium for my Diamond Dynasty team yet, but I will in the future. And as you can, this is just, oh, I haven't done this in a minute, but uh, this is probably the best way to warm up and get used to get used to moving that PCI. We're on legend difficulty, maxed fastball pitch speed, Chapman 98. I, I don't know why he's not throwing 102. I guess he doesn't have outlier, but uh, that thing looks like literally 110 very early that time. But yeah, basically you're going to go into practice, put it on legend, fastball pitch speed slider all the way up. And uh, yeah, just try to hit the ball. Just try to square up the ball. Cause then when you go back to the lower difficulties, all-star, hall of fame, I was just so, the differential between that and the 150 mile an hour is just ridiculous. But uh, once you square up a couple balls and you start getting used to the uh, use of the pitch speed, then you can go drop it back down to hall of fame or 
all-star whatever difficulty you're playing on and uh yeah you should be seeing the ball pretty amazingly oh my Whew. this is even tough for me dude like this this right here will get you warmed up cracked out of your mind to play online and also seeing the pitches this fast will help you recognize what a fastball looks like and the difference between a fastball and a slider because a fastball it's just a straight movement maybe a little bit of tail on it depending on uh, what type of fastball it is and then the off speed you can kind of on next gen you can kind of see the spin i don't know about current gen so basically when you're sitting here i want to practice all the things i just told you as you can see we're getting the pci there the timing is just we're just behind on every single one and your pci is just so tiny on legend so you have n barely any room for error wow <laughs> finally absolutely shattered one it was a slider but hey we recognize it. that's all i can say all right so now that we're used to that we're gonna put drop it back down uh let's just go to all-star so now we're back on wait let me double check yeah so now we're back on all-star sliders are all the way down this thing's gonna look like absolute meat that that looked like a changeup. that looked like a changeup. i'm not gonna lie and if you saw right there uh you always even if you know the ball is gonna be a ball just practice uh just practice tracking the pitch anyways with your pci because once you got to just practice the tracking so even on when balls are on the borderline you'll still be on them but yeah guys make sure you're incorporating all four of the things i told you at the beginning they're probably the most important things that nobody ever says they never tell you how to put your thumb how to how to warm up your thumb you just gotta you just gotta do it it's what every top player does what i personally do it's literally exactly what i do before every pitch see ball so yeah guys that is basically it for the video i literally am just reiterating what i've said the past two years because i have not changed what i do at the plate the past two years maybe i've changed the pci placement in the middle but that's just because the the meta of the pitching this year it's definitely fastball is high i played one online game that's all the kid did so yeah i hope these tips helped you change the way you hit change the way you think about hitting and uh, actually put the bat on the ball which I know new players zone can be struggle uh, zone can be tough, but my uh, my tutorial should be helping you have more control of that PCI and get the bat to the ball. So yeah, once again, thank you guys for tuning in, and I'm out. Peace.